We've shot hundreds, hundreds of iguanas. There. Oh, that was the coolest thing ever. What's up, everybody? Justin, Thane, the Ginger Ninjas. We're out here. Ginger we ninjas. are in Puerto Rico. We are hunting iguanas and chickens and doves. And, and whatever else. Whatever. Walk that's legal. Yep. Obviously, that's legal. So we're down here. We're having a good time. We're all set up. These iguanas, um, they're extremely invasive and they're also extremely destructive. What they can do is they will bore holes everywhere. They'll ruin levees. They'll ruin, they'll ruin ditch lines. And also, they eat all the valuable vegetation, any kind of crops they're trying to grow, flowers, anything that's flowering, they will just demolish them because there's so many of them. So it's almost impossible to try and grow crops down here if you have iguanas on the farm. So we're going to try and eradicate. Okay. Eradicate. As well as bird eggs. They'll climb up yes, and take the bird they eggs. eat bird eggs too, so yep. the songbird community doesn't like them either. We're going to do them all a little favor today. It's almost like every time we shoot one, we hear a little chirp from a songbird. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> He's at the very top. I know, but... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Get on my shoulder, then. Get on my shoulder. Eyeball. Rolling? Eyeball. First one, dude. First one down. A good size one, too. Left side, the, the branch goes to the left. Yeah. He's on the branch. He's on the right side of the branch facing down. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the closer one. See his head? Yep. Just barely. Woo! Thread the needle. Donnie, what are you shooting? This is a Dreamline 25 cal. Nice. Nice, Donnie. Good size. Oh, am I fitting through there? I don't think I'm fitting <laughs> through there. Not with your chest rig. I can't help. I'm mad. We'll go another way. Ben, what you shooting, dude? FX Streamline. No it was one of the lighter options. Oh, Is it, this with a double bottle impact? Uh, this is a 25, nice. I believe. Yes, 25 shooting, 29 grain, no, 33 grain AEA pellets. Very accurate. Hits really hard. Looking for more tree crawlers. Oh, there you go. Somebody tagged him. Perfect. New magazine time. <laughs> oh, the tree. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. A little louder than a than a dove hitting the tin, isn't it? That's some tree dragons.
So when we're walking through these big, thick wooded areas, what we're trying to look for, because they're camouflaged so good, you can't just like look for an iguana. But if you, basically we're looking for like branches that are just a little bigger than they should be in that spot, or a, a curvy tail without leaves, that's, you know, that's a good indication you're, you got an iguana in the tree. An example, that's an iguana. Yeah, this is the branch? Oh yeah. wow, that's a big that's one. That's an iguana. Yeah. I'll hit the branch. It's like that, and they come out. Oh. <sighs> Tired. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. I, I don't know if he's messing with me or not. He said there's some giant pythons in here. He's like, oh, if you see the big python, shoot it. I said, you're joking. He's like, no, no, big python. Like, like no big deal. If you see it, shoot it. Meanwhile, we're swimming in it. I'm like, okay. No wind, I guess. Here we go. There. Oh, <laughs> My arms are about to fall off. We've shot hundreds, hundreds of iguanas. Just ended up with the last pellet in my eight magazines I had on me and 100 yards right on the button and uh, just shot three or four, maybe five, in that tallest tree right there. Five. He did a backflip. Ah. <laughs> so here's the deal. We're using 30 cal pellets and pellets we're shooting we're shooting, you know, usually at the most a hundred yards. And um, but that 30 cal pellet it just has so much energy from that you know the average shots we're taking are 30 to 50 yards right and it just hits them so hard and it's so accurate pellets all the way for iguana hunting So day two, we start out, we get up early. We actually went out deep sea fishing. I'd never done that before. It was uh, super fun. We all ended up at least catching one fish. So I'd say that was a pretty good success for just going out for half a day. But uh, as you can see, they took the fish, they prepared them for us right there on the spot. So that's about as fresh a fish as you can get right there. After we got done fishing, we had some lunch. We headed out to the fields again for iguanas. And as you can see, we hit the jackpot again. In this shot, you can see a dozen iguanas just in this one tree. And it was like that all afternoon.
And to round it out, we got to shoot the biggest one of the entire trip. This is the biggest iguana I've ever seen. I was lucky enough to catch him going down a tree and got a perfect headshot really quick and uh, made the shot. And he ended up being six feet long, almost exactly, and 14, just over 14 pounds. So an absolute giant. And uh, that was a great way to round out the day. The last morning in Puerto Rico, uh, Donnie lined up a cool ATV tour through the rainforest. We went out and uh, cruised around on the side-by-sides and, and saw the sights. And some of the guys got into the river and did some swimming or some kind of weird baptism. I don't know what they were doing there, but uh, it was a great time. And it was, uh, it was a fun way to round it out, get to kind of just mix up the whole trip and um, do a few different things, see, see some sights in Puerto Rico that we hadn't you know, obviously ever seen before. Went to some historic sites on the coast over in old San Juan and it was just a great time. What a fun trip.